I'm Chris Kowalczyk for Around the Horns. We're here outside the ESPN Zone in Washington, D.C., where we celebrate the countdown to basketball season with CAA Media Day. We're here with VCU women's basketball coach Beth Cunningham. Beth, it's your seventh year at this event. Talk to us a little bit about how it's kind of evolved over the years. Well, I can't believe it's heading into my seventh year, uh, first of all. Um, I guess somewhat of a veteran now, um, which is weird from where I started. But, um, you know, this is a great event, a chance for, you know, the coaches and the media to get together and I think just, you know, build a lot of excitement for the upcoming season. Um, it's going to be an exciting year in the conference. I think probably um, what I would expect to be uh, the toughest year, the, the best year uh, in the conference from top to bottom and I think that says a lot because the last couple years you know our conference has been ranked in the top 10 consistently um, but I think just with the the players coming back um, I just think it's going to be a really exciting year in the NCAA basketball and I expect probably to be the toughest year in the conference. And one of the reasons for the excitement surrounding CA Media Day is the release of the preseason teams and the preseason polls. This year you guys picked fifth uh, coming off two 26 year 26 win seasons mm -hmm. tell us you know how you assess that the, the poll and, the, and what your thoughts are well, I, I've always really kind of viewed it. I think us coaches view it as it's it's more for the media. Um, certainly something that we don't put a lot of um, a whole lot of faith in, I guess, so, so to say. You know, every year you develop a new identity with your team and, you know, anxious to see how our team evolves. Um, I'm really excited about where our team's at right now coming off of, you know, the first weekend of practice. Um, we've got an extremely motivated uh, team, a team that's that's learned to win in the last couple of years and I think has had some success um, that really motivates them coming into this year. Um, certainly there's a lot of questions about, you know, what are you going to do without Q and, and the seniors that we lost, but I'm really excited and proud of um, the way our seniors have really led our team, I guess, in this offseason um, and heading into our first our first week of practice. And, um, you know, really expect a lot out of our seniors this year. And they've had a great, uh, great three years since they've been there. And I know they want to end on an extremely high note. So uh, just really looking forward to seeing how the team continues to develop and see what new players continue to develop and step up for us um, as the season progresses here. Sure. And one of those seniors is Deandra Moss, who suffered a knee injury towards the end of last season. Tell us how she's progressing, because she's going to be a key to this season for you guys. She is. She's, she's going to be an integral part of, uh, of what we do this year. And, um, you know, just, just so happy that she's been full going practice. You know, you're, you're not going to find a kid that works any harder. And she has really been focused, committed, has gotten herself in a position where, um, you know, she was cleared in the summer. Um, obviously, we were somewhat um, reluctant to push her in there too quickly. Um, but she's been full go with individual workouts, um, with our practices, and um, I think it's going to have a great senior year for us. Beth, you talked a little bit about practice started on Friday, so you've had four or five days to kind of get acclimated. How do the kids look? How do the freshmen look at this point? How are they feeling? You know, I, I've been really pleased with our freshmen. I think uh, they've been a, a very um, uh, coachable group. Um, they've really been open-minded, wanting to learn. Uh, they've had, you know, really good work ethic really from the get-go when they got here um, in the summer. Um, I think they've done a great job of following the leadership of our team, you know, being our upperclassmen. Um, so pleased with their progress, but, you know, it, it's, a, it's a whirlwind for them. You know, there's a lot to pick up in a short amount of time, um, you know, and I think they're doing, doing a great job, you know, adjusting so far. Now by VCU head coach Shaka Smart. Shaka, you're the one new coach of the 24 head coaches here today. How are we treating you so far? Treating me great. It's great to be here. Uh, excited to be around all the other coaches. There's a buzz in the air, and that's because it's basketball season. We're we're fired up. Um, coach, the part of the buzz created is around the preseason polls and the preseason All CAA teams. For you guys, though. What do, you, what do you as coaches, how do you process information? What do you guys do with that type of information, really? Well, you use it with your teams, and you analyze it a little bit in terms of what other people think of where you are right now. But then you really throw it in the trash, to be honest with you, because everyone starts out 0-0, zero and zero, and everyone's at the exact same point going into your first game. So, you know, uh, prognostication uh, we're going to leave that up to the prognosticators, and as a team, we're going to create our own season. Sure. 
Coach, you guys are picked third this year. Is that something you can use as motivation for your team, though? I think so. I think uh, any time somebody picks you at a spot other than where your players expect to be, uh, that discrepancy is something that you can use as motivation. At the same time, there's a lot of great teams in this league. There's a lot of programs in this league that return a great deal of uh, terrific players. Uh, you know, we happen to be losing uh, probably the best player in the CAA since David Robinson. So, you know, that's probably one of the reasons that we're picked third. But again, uh, we don't put a lot of stock into the exact order. We want to go about determining the order ourselves. And Larry was a first team selection, all preseason pre first team selection. How do you think he'll handle that? Well, I think that's uh, to be expected for Larry because of what he's done over his first couple seasons and the progress that he continues to make. So how he'll handle it, I think he'll take it in stride. Uh, I think he has that type of expectation for himself and even higher. Coach, you talked a little bit about some of the great players in this league. How much of the league are you able to see coming into your first year? The league is very new to you. How much are you able to see? How much How much do you know about the league at this point before you guys really get into to game planning? Well, we've watched a lot of tape from last year, from previous years, but uh, don't have as great of a feel for the league as we will in January and February. And to be honest, I'm more focused on the non-conference part of our schedule just because that comes first. But certainly have a familiarity with the Gerald Lees, with the Matt Janning, uh, with, with some of the great players in this league that have already had a great deal of success. Right. Coach, practice started on Friday. You guys have had a few practices under your belt now. What can you tell us so far? Guys are doing a terrific job. The competitiveness is at a very high level. Uh, their attitudes have been terrific. And everybody's healthy right now. That's a big, big factor, particularly to play the way we want to play. So uh, are there a lot of mistakes being made? Yes. But I think you would see that anywhere across the country at this time of year. Sure. Great. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Thanks for having me. Well, we've survived another CAA Media Day here at the ESPN Zone in Washington, D.C. It's been exciting, but now we can really start the countdown to VC Rams basketball season. For Around the Horns, I'm Chris Kowalczyk.